Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we're jumping back into some more mechanical mastery. And today, well, today is all about that refined storage and starting our build. Hopefully you guys are ready. So I am now on episode four, and well, I have to say that thus far, the progression has been has been a bit slow. It's been a bit slow and completely understandable. This mod pack is a little bit different than most mod packs that I do play. Normally I have access to a lot of stuff early on. Well, in this one, you're kind of gated by the essences that you need to create. So that's why there's this wacky setup here, but it is quite productive um, that's going on. And it's not the prettiest thing in the world. And a lot of you guys have been uh, mentioning that in the comments that this is very unchosen like and I will definitely agree. I'll definitely agree. But whenever you're given literally cobblestone and oak early on and dirt, there's really not much you can do other than build massive platforms. And I didn't want to just build a massive platform early on and then have to tear it down, even though that's technically what I've already done. What is wrong with me? But I've definitely heard the feedback, and I, I just want to apologize if this is out of the norm for me. I, I don't know... If I'm doing something different, I don't really know. I've just been playing the mod pack. I, I really don't know um, if this is out of the norm for me. But I, I, like I said, I, I probably have been doing the no-no thing of reading comments, and that's led me to today's video, and I just wanted to mention that. And now I, I feel like I should apologize, like, if I've just been a little less than normal. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I've been kind of overwhelmed recently with a lot of projects and just life and everything recently has been kind of crazy and also trying to maintain and keep a video schedule going is not the easiest task but i've been trying to maintain that i'm working on that that's besides the point today we are gonna hopefully fix all the issues that are going on that you guys have mentioned in the comments and everything like that all of this crazy build that's over here the craziness going on that's not even technically generating the the new setup <laughs> it's not even generating the new essence so yes we're going to be bumping into the mechanism age, and this is going to lead us into approved mechanical essence. And that is going to allow us to unlock refined storage, which I think is going to be where this whole pack shifts. It's almost like the whole start of this pack with nothing in it really is, is like limiting you up until you get refined storage. Like, yes, there's a lot of mods in here, but the, the quests don't really hint to using any of those things. And there's also a lot of items that we still don't have yet. So if we take a look at this section, there are still things like sugarcane and fluorite and other things in uranium and, and emeralds. We don't even have emeralds that we won't get until we have this tier for material crafted. And we're going to have to craft at least two of them to at least unlock these. And we'll even get Ancient Debris, which will be, be kind of nice. Um, but yeah, this is going to lead to some interesting things. And uh, I'm hoping Refined Storage is the solution to all of this madness. I feel like at this point I should just rename the whole series to just Mechanical Madness. Yeah, that's that's what it should be. Mechanical Madness, not Mechanical Mastery, because I'm far from a master at all this. Now, I do want to preface this. In most mod packs, I do usually convert the entire base over once we have refined storage or some sort of storage mod. So really, I feel like this is sort of in line with how I normally play mod packs. It just it doesn't really seem that way because I don't have a vast palette of, of items to build with early on. So I don't know. I, am I just making justifications for this ugly setup? I think I am. I mean, I'm just like making up more and more justifications for it. It's atrocious. I'm so sorry. Now, back to the techie part of stuff as we continue our progression through this pack. And right now, I'm, I'm slowly but surely working on getting gunpowder, which is one of the things we're going to need. Uh, it does say that you can synthesize it in some interesting way. Not exactly sure how it wants you to go about this, but we can actually get niter in an interesting way and sulfur. And at least early on right now, uh, we can... We can uh, generate niter by taking sandstone and crushing that in a pulverizer. Um, and so these two components, along with sulfur, which we, uh, I believe we get this from pulverizing coal. Um, we can take this and we should be able to combine it and get gunpowder, which we're going to need for fire charges. So yeah, there's that should be enough gunpowder to make a few fire charges. And I think that's the only, like, 
major thing that we're going to need, right? I believe. Um, so inside of this, I have just about everything. So there's one of the things I'm going to need. I'm also going to need earth charges. All of this requires gunpowder and ice charges. And so there we go. We have all of those, and then we actually get some as a reward, which is kind of nice. And the only thing I have left to do is get into the basics of mechanism, which I'm already sort of getting prepped up and getting smelted. I'm getting osmium nice and smelted up in here. We should now have a stack of osmium, and we're going to need iron. We're going to use that to make our first mechanism machine. Now, the first mechanism machines are these metallurgy confusers, and I'd like to do two of them. Uh, so that way we can have two different things going on at once. So still using the same basic sterling generator for now. I can go ahead and get these powered up. As long as I'm not using all of these machines together, we should be able to get enough power in here to get things going. Um, so we need to take some of this osmium that we have. I'm going to actually do 32 and then I also need iron and I want to get some stuff going. So some redstone and I think I have more redstone, but the main products are going to be, or the main uh, things we're going to use are redstone and uh, osmium and iron to be producing the things that are going to get us started in the basics of uh, this mod. So let's uh, grab some redstone and we'll throw this together. So over here, I'll just toss some redstone in. That should get us enough redstone to get started. And I'll put the 32 in here. And I believe this uses um, two redstone per one osmium or it's the other way around um it's hard to remember sometimes ah it, yeah, it uses two redstone per osmium to make one of the basic control circuits which this is what we're actually trying to make uh for the final recipe here with the improved as you can see we need it there um but we also want to make the other component and that is going to be a single redstone it's one to one one redstone one iron and that is going to make the improved or no the infused alloy so there we go. So now we have fused alloy and we have control circuits and these are all components that are going to be used in sort of the basics and even make really good pipes. Like these are really decent pipes and stuff early on as well. Just the advanced versions. So there we go. Mechanism is technically done. I mean, technically we have everything ready to make the processors. So let's throw together some create mechanics and let's get this cooking because we're going to use our blaze burner that we got last episode so here we are again with another really ugly create build just ignore it for now um <laughs> i'm gonna get this set up with the base in here this whole area is just kind of wonky and i can't wait to tear it down but here we go so we have our vertical gearbox and of course it's being gear ratioed up and we have our mechanical mixer so everything's ready to go i just need to feed this guy and so you just give it some blaze or give it some uh, coal and then we just toss in one of each of the basic materials that we're going to need and we're missing one more and that is the mechanism stuff over here and then we should be good <laughs> i'm kind of excited uh we're gonna need two of these so there it goes and this does require heat so you will have to automate the coal being sent to that but there it is and uh we can do it one more time because we are going to need at least two of them because we have to have one that is being uh, converted. Um, now, I don't know why it says empty blaze burner when we have a blade bur blaze burner. I can go ahead and craft another one, but for some reason, let's see. I need to also make sure I have netherrack. There we go. And I guess that's to complete the quest. We want to make sure we complete the quest because it's very important. Uh, let's see, blaze burner. And we can always make another one, but there it goes. For some reason, we had that in our inventory, so I don't know why that didn't complete. There we go. All right, so that's done. And then this is done. And then now all we have to do is, well, press this up. So let's take one of them and press it up. And the other one is going to make our controller. And I hope that the recipe for these haven't been really modified in any crazy way. Nope, looks like we can easily make slime. We can make quartz and make diamonds. So I think we're ready to get into refined storage. Wow, this is this is going to be fun. And voila, quest complete. And we get one more as a reward. And this can go in here. And this also grants us access to the next page which gives us all kinds of stuff. So we have oil clumps, apparently. We have uranium, fluorite, sugarcane, 
which I'm kind of happy to get that. Apparently, eggs. We're going to get some chicken eggs. Um, even though uh, we do have chicken spawning and I've, I've gotten eggs from them. But oh, this is this is nice. This is nice. Now, we are still going to have to go through the process of automating all of the effigies and things like that. But things can be a little bit easier now that we have refined storage. That's a major mod. That is a big milestone, in my opinion. Now, currently, I'm working on prepping up all of the materials that are going to be required, and that includes bone milling because I'm going to need quite a bit of slime. Um, so I have bone that is technically already been produced here, um, and I've just got to bone mill all of this wheat, but I did find an easier way. Instead of doing buckets, I actually didn't know uh, this was a method, but you can crush this down and then toss it into here instead of using a bucket of water, and this will generate... Um, the dough that we're going to need to make the slime balls. And of course, we're going to have plenty of lime dye uh, to fulfill this. But yeah, all of this wheat flour, once all this redstone gets processed, should go in here. Let's see. Grab that out. There we go. And then wheat flour. Boop. Right into the create madness. Oh, boy. Boy, am I excited. I, I keep saying how excited I am to get this cleaved up, but I really, really am. Now I'm getting all this stuff going. This guy showed up. And... Well, that's a lead, and I'm really excited to have a lead. Uh, here soon, I'm going to have to corral a lot of these animals up, so this is definitely going to work out for me. It's not like I can buy anything from them. I don't have emerald just yet. Well, actually, you know what? We technically do have emerald. Yeah, I can go ahead and put this inside of my EMC now. Yeah, I didn't even... I totally forgot. We don't have... We, de we definitely have emerald. Look at, look at that right there. Now, most of the time when I'm playing these mod packs, I'm going in completely by, uh, blind. This pack included was definitely one of those i was going in completely blind uh not really knowing what this pack had to offer and how it was going to actually go about doing anything so far i've really enjoyed it. it's kind of nostalgic actually uh it reminds me of like the the older mod packs from the days of old here i am feeling old it's not been that long it's only been like five or six years but to me that's quite a long time quite a long time to be playing around with mod packs like this but uh, yeah, it kind of really gave me that uh, the nostalgic feel, which has been kind of refreshing. I don't know. Here lately, it has been a lot of the same mods. And I haven't played with, for example, Immersive Engineering in a long time. Create, yeah, it's been in almost every mod pack. Thermal has been in almost every mod pack, but just not really utilized very much. And uh, Project E, I mean, I, I, I love, I have a love for Project E. There's just something about that mod. I don't know. I do have a, a love for it, but... A lot of mod packs really gate Project E to the end of the mod pack. And then at that point, like, do you even really need Project E? That's how it feels sometimes. By the way, yes, I am using this as a furnace. It is quite efficient and pretty fast. And it's not like it's going to go anywhere. This is completely backed up anyways. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got most of the components set up for refined storage. We're about to dive right into it. All I've got to do is literally get these last few components done. And we are just about ready to craft, I believe, everything we need. We just need a controller. We're going to need a crafting grid. And we're going to need, well, a 64K drive. We should be able to make a 64K drive, if all possible. Uh, yeah, but we just need a disk drive. And uh, we should have all the components for this, I think. So let's put this stuff together. It's uh, This is going to be kind of fun, right? So uh, the controller itself, we need the casings. Going to make a couple of those. I think we only need three for right now. But the controller. That is the part that I was so excited for today. Because uh, I knew I was going to be getting into this. And we get given some uh, cable and some storage housing. Might as well make two 64Ks. I think we have enough resources to do that. So we should be able to easily do this. And of course, my beloved, finally, a good storage solution. And I really feel that way. Oh, I've got this overwhelming burden that has just been lifted off my chest of managing all of these chests, which I'm so surprised I've even been able to manage out of these chests. It's, am I, I think that's something Vault Hunters has done to me. It has made me understand that I can craft out of normal chests like a normal vanilla, vanilla Aryan, right? So uh, it's definitely put me in that situation. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we should have everything. Glowstone looks like is required. So I'm about to get all this crafted up. So I'm going to get the screen crafted up and the discs and uh, start working on our 64K drives, which I, it sounds like a lot, but really it's the, once you break the components down, it's not that much. So if you want the exact numbers of the stuff to make a 64K drive, well, you're going to need uh, 36 of the basic processors. You're going to need about 12 improved processors, 
four advanced processors, and then you're going to need, which I don't have it on me, but you're going to need 108 of the silicon. You're going to need 43 of the, which apparently I don't have those on me either, 43 of the quartz enriched iron. You're going to need 83 glass, and that's just for one, right? And you're also going to need 60, uh, you're going to need 43 redstone. So all of that combined um, is what you're going to need to craft a 64K drive. And uh, we're going to be making two of them, and I, I should have plenty. So in just like this, I now have two 64K drives, and that's going to be pretty darn nice getting into this. And uh, thankfully, they gave us enough housings to make both of these. Um, so now I am going to need to get set up some power. And I think um, at this point, hmm, I mean, I could move... I guess the refined storage really anywhere, but for right now, I could just tap into this and uh, start to get all of my resources moved into some drives, and uh, from there, craft myself a new drive or a new uh, a new dynamo. I think that'll definitely be worthwhile. And we can always pull coal, coal out, so we're never gonna run into a situation where we run out of power and lose all of our stuff. That's just not gonna happen because we have EMC being generated. I don't know about from a viewer standpoint, but oh, it's so satisfying. Look at that, 128K. And now we can just start dumping all of our items in here. Oh, this is, uh, this is going to be very nice. I keep saying it's going to be, it is very nice. I don't even know why I'm, I'm sugarcoating it. This is, this is the, the best. So after moving all of the stuff, I can now break this because I'm not really worried about losing anything in here. Oh, except for the items I had in my crafting grid. Um, but I have myself a dynamo. All I've got to do is just get the dynamo hooked in, get some power. I'm also going to add an upgrade just to make sure it's powered enough sufficiently. And here we go. I mean, technically we've moved our entire storage into this little box. <laughs> all of that mess now here. And uh, all we gotta do is put our disk drives back in there. And here's all of our items. And then I like to set this to stretched uh, right here. It's it's a pretty decent size, I think. And then the, set the search box to JEI uh, synchronized two-way. So that way I can search here and search here. So I can search in both boxes, which makes it so much easier to navigate. And now I can access all of my bookmarks way easier. Yeah, if you're wondering about these, yep, yeah, all you gotta do is hit A over an item and it allows you to bookmark them over here. You can turn on or off your bookmarks at any time if that's something that's bothering you. Um, so, what do I do from this point forward now that I have, well, compact storage? Well, that's where I want to technically tear everything down and start over. I know. Why didn't we just start with refined storage? <laughs> Before I do the job of deconstructing this whole thing, there's still a few blocks that I actually want to get my hands on. And that is to get an igneous extruder set up. And it's this kind of cool thing, right? So there's nothing crazy about it. I think setting up three of them is going to be a good idea. And getting these set up as early as possible. Uh, because I want this generating some blocks. Um, looks like I'm going to need Constantine... I think I have the materials for this. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to need to make this, but I also need a blast chiller. Oh, wait, can we not make a blast chiller until we get some ice? Ooh, I wonder how I go about getting basic ice. It looks like I can use an ice charge to get a singular piece of ice, but to get this, I need packed ice. So really, I'm going to need two buckets of water, it looks like, in order to get my first thing of ice. Hmm... So I can get a normal ice. Thankfully, we can make all of these things, so it's not too horrible. I'll take the water because that's going to need to go anyways. And the cool part about the ice is we can put it over here and we can make more ice. So this is how we're going to get our ice, I think, early on. This is going to be a pretty decent way. So this will turn it into packed ice. And uh, this is going to be used for the blast chiller. And this will just make more ice from water and power which is pretty straightforward. So on the back here, I'm gonna get myself a infinite water source set up because I'm gonna be using a Oculus accumulator as well to generate infinite water. And so water going here and here, and thus I now have infinite water and I can feed this blast chiller and get it somewhat automated with a, we can go ahead and use a basic mechanical pump. Um, I'm just going to have to say, hey, on the back here, input. That's pretty straightforward. And then we make sure that's pulling. 
And there we go. We have it blast chilling, and that's going to generate the ice I need uh, for the Ignis Extruder because this is going to need blue ice to be able to make basalt, which I want to use as a building material. I want to use blackstone as a building material. I want to, I have an idea for a very dark sort of factory theme, so it's going to use a lot of these black colors, like blackstone and cobbled deep slate and stuff like that. And this can all be generated. Actually, I think deep slate, at least the cobbled variant, um, we can actually EMC, so that's not too difficult. So I think stone, blackstone, and probably going basalt. Stone, blackstone, and basalt are going to be the three things that I want to generate with our igneous extruder. Now for one of these things, I'm going to need soul soil and, uh, well, boop. <laughs> Now we have soul soil. Oh, I just love the, I, 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 like I said, I love Project E. Um, so I think I have everything to be able to make all of these different components and get ourselves some better building blocks. Um, now it is going to require some lava. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one here and I can actually utilize the lava from one of them. One of them I'm also going to need soul soil underneath. And so I can have two that are next to each other and then one that's probably right over here should be fine. So long as I keep the lava away from the wood, that's the one thing that concerns me about this whole build is I'm building out of wood and a lot of, of create uses lava. And I'm so worried that it's going to catch the build on fire and just my whole base is going to go up in smoke. That sounds awful. Um, now, if I take a look here, uh, one of these is lava and blue ice. And then this one is blue ice and lava as well. So I can just put the lava directly in the middle of this one, and that should be more than enough. I'm gonna use trapdoors to encapsulate all this. Actually, blue ice doesn't really need any trapdoors. I don't know why I'm trying to put those here. Uh, it's just going to be this. And then soul soil needs to go under one of these. So I might as well put that right there. And that should get this generating. Now I'm gonna need pipes to get the items out of here. There's the lava. And then I just need to craft up the blue ice, which I have right here. And both of these should start generating their different parts. And it generates quite fast. So this is going to be generating blackstone and basalt. And then the only one that's left is this one over here. And that is going to be generating stone, which should be water and lava, I believe. Yeah, water, lava, and magma blocks, which I'm going to have to get the magma block. That requires some blaze powder, which I should have. And just like that, I got myself some logistical transporters sending the items up here. So now we have stone being produced, we have black stone, and we have basalt. And uh, these are all going to be items that I'm going to hopefully use to customize or build. And try and use different building mechanics, because there's all kinds of machines that allow me to take these. For example, the Mason's Workbench. Um, this allows us to do all kinds of crafts and change the way a lot of these blocks you uh, work. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using this for a lot of the customizations. For example, we can put this in here and you can see there's all kinds of different blocks in here. Ooh, I really like that eroded basalt. All kinds of different looking materials. So it's going to be kind of fun playing around with all the different things. However, I'm going to probably lose out on some EMC shortly. Um, because when I tear down all of these buildings and I put it into the refined storage, all of this is going to stop producing. Um, that just everything is going to be stopped producing, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to try and leave this up as long as I can and work around it for as long as I can. But yeah, because I, I want it to stay running because it's still producing EMC and everything. So... I don't want to lose it just yet. So I think I have an idea. I have an idea that is slowly sparking the more blocks I place down. And that idea is I want to build vertically instead of out and try to maybe set up some power generators down at the bottom that generates uh, uh generates all of the mechanical stress we're going to need and maybe have those enclosed down at the bottom and still maintain this area. But all the other good stuff is going to happen higher up and I could probably make sort of this futuresque style build that goes up here but I'm gonna need something I'm gonna need something to do this um and we're probably going to make that next episode and that's going to be the swift wolf rending gale which is a part of project E that gives us creative flight um so all of this being combined together and the tearing down of all the stuff and the combining of all these materials I think are going to lead into that and, uh, well, things can only get more interesting from there. I almost wonder, 
can I maintain like a level for each of the essences? So I do like a level for each one. I don't know. Like this, I, I throw all these ideas around and it does take quite a lot of time putting all of this together. Now, one thing that I was easily able to make is the repair talisman. And I don't know why I haven't made this sooner, but this thing is really, really nice. We can put it in our belt slot and it's just going to keep slowly repairing any tools that we have that have durability. Pretty cool. So I don't know. What do you think of this height? I feel like this might be a good enough level for each one of the levels. Well, they may get progressively taller as we go up. It's going to be kind of cool, I think. Uh, of course, when it comes to skyblocks, nobody's really looking at the outside. At least I don't think so. So building uh, the inside and making the interior way better is going to be pretty cool. I'm wanting to have these as like sort of windows. So that way we can still look out because it gets kind of dark inside of these sky blocks and it feels really weird playing a sky block which is normally open but you don't play with everything open it, yeah so this will be kind of cool i think on it wait i was about to say what was hurting that what was hurting that big oh the poor pig died no well i think to make all of this building easier building gadgets is definitely going to be the way to go um and then to charge them we should be able to use I don't think I need to worry about the copy and paste gadget, but we should be able to use, let's see, there is the, let's see, I, actually, I think thermal, we can use a tinker station, tinker's workbench, that is what it's called, and this will let us charge all these, so charging shouldn't be much of a problem, so long as we have it hooked up to some power, which we're going to do right now, boop, and uh, <laughs> so long as we give it some power, uh, so yeah, we are going to need some coal. And um, this has a couple of uses. We can use it for some tools and stuff. But uh, one of its main functions, of course, is charge mode. And so as soon as it gets some power, it's going to start to put power in these slowly but surely. Once all these machines get filled back up. Ooh, even more ideas are sparking. I'm thinking as well, maybe this is just the interior structure. And these are all going to be the individual cells for which we can have some automations going on in. Oh man, I, I I need to stop. I need to stop. My brain's gonna explode. This is too much going on. I, I'm thinking about all these crazy builds. I, I I only have so much time. I need I need to smack myself for this one. Come on, chosen. You, you know it's gonna be too much. Come on. Oh, this is gonna look fantastic. I'm gonna get some different patterns. I think maybe split this up. Oh, maybe like this corner right here could be split up. Oh, there's a there's a lot to think about. A lot to think about. And I might have to wait till next episode to put this all fully together. I'm using the glass blowers workbench, by the way. This right here, I can just put glass panes in and, and just tra change it. And like the top, I can make it this stuff. This is all from the chipped mod. Really, really fantastic. It's going to look really good, I think, when it's all put together. This outer wall right here, I might actually just extend this to make it all one solid wall. But... Yes. Oh, this is going to look good. Now, of course, as we are ending today's episode, I know not a crazy ton of progression was done today, but we do now have a ton of infrastructure and the ability to build. And that's what I love to do. I love to build. And uh, this mod pack is very limiting on the block palette that it gives you as it is a sky block. And you do have to automate all of the things to get those block palettes. I completely understand that. Um, but we are going to be getting a build done regardless. We're going to be fighting through this together and we are going to get this build set up and this is going to be magnificent i have big plans for this and all of the essences are going to be automated and made so much better here in the future especially now that we have automation through refined storage so this ugly mess is only going to last a couple more episodes i think as uh, we progress through here and things are going to look a lot cleaner which is what i try to do normally so guys, of course, if you did enjoy today's episode and uh, you may have learned something, of course, give this video a huge click on that thumbs up button. Smack that thumbs up button if you would. And if you haven't subscribed already, now would be a great time to consider subscribing. We are very, very close to hitting that 600,000 subscriber mark. And uh, that'd be fantastic if we can hit that before the end of the year. That'd be crazy amazing. Um, and of course, guys, it's now time to thank the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go out to Red X Moon X Rose. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way. Over on the uh, the Discord, actually, this time. The Discord, becoming a Discord premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible as the support over on the Discord honestly generates the most revenue from that source. 
They don't take a giant handful of the support like um, all the other services do. So be sure to check that out. If you haven't already, check out the Discord if, the, if you're looking to support in any way, I would appreciate that. And of course, guys, I thank you so much. And all of my supporters, all of my watchers, all of you guys who have clicked that subscribe button, thank you so very much. I'll see you, of course, in the next episode. And you know how it goes. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.